கற்றறிந்தவர்கள் என்னை விடமாட்டார்கள் ஆனால் படிப்பறிவில்லாதவனுக்கு அனுபவம் கொடுக்கவில்லை என்றால் அவன் அறியாத காரணத்தால் நம்மை விட்டு போய்விடுவான் என்பதால் தான் ஈசன் கல்லாத கண்ணப்பநாயனாருக்கு தனது தரிசனத்தை சீக்கிரமாகவும் கற்றறிந்த சிவகோசலையாருக்கு தாமதமாகவும் கொடுத்தான் என்று தாங்கள் அருளுரை ஒன்றில் தெரிவித்திருக்கிறீர்கள் ஆனால் இந்த கலியுகத்தில் கல்லாதவர்களை விட கற்றறிந்த மேதைகளும் விஞ்ஞானிகளும் தானே கடவுளை விட்டு விலகி வெகு தூரத்தில் நிற்கிறார்கள் பொதுவாக விஞ்ஞானிகளாகவும் மேதைகளாகவும் இருக்கும் மனிதர்களுக்கு ஏன் கடவுள் நம்பிக்கை வருவதில்லை because the gates of heavens belong to them would not child like innocence is more important whether you are literate or illiterate doesn't make a difference child like innocence so don't bother about qualifications and all that it is the quality which matters if you have that type of innocence you are close to god no? that's all if you think you are very smart and uh, you can do the world cheat the world and all god is watching you from within yourself god it's not a calendar format it's not a statue ah it is an indwelling light inside you it guides you i mean it's all the dark uh, paths so always trust to god who is living inside you as a light and don't bother about anyone or anything god alone exists and nothing is true nobody is true jatakangalil பரிகார தோஷம் பரிகாரம் எதற்கும் கட்டுப்படாத தோஷம் என்று இரண்டு வகையான தோஷங்கள் சொல்லப்படுகின்றன ஒரு மனிதனின் வாழ்க்கையில் வரும் தோஷங்களும் சாபங்களும் அவனுடைய முன்ஜென்ம கர்மாவால் தான் ஏற்படுகிறது என்றால் பரிகாரத்தால் அப்படிப்பட்ட தோஷங்களை நிவர்த்தி செய்ய முடியும் என்பது எவ்வாறு சாத்தியம் தங்களுடைய வாழ்க்கையில் ஒரு சாபம் வரமாக மாறியது மாதிரி எல்லோருடைய வாழ்க்கையிலும் அது சாத்தியம்தானா forgive is divine so repentance definitely gets you the mercy of the supreme lord repentance otherwise for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction for every credit there is a corresponding debit so no one can escape the plus and minus rewards and punishments of uh, their actions if you hurt someone if you harm someone definitely you have to undergo punishment for that but a person is punished to go into the prison for 10 years rigorous imprisonment if he is having a good conduct in the prison it is called revision so some 4 5 years will be reduced and instead of 10 years suffering he will come back uh, within 5 years or 4 years so repentance helps and uh, whatever is your worldly rule applies to divine rules also if you, to if you know how to repent and correct your ways definitely god helps there were two uh, sons to an elderly man in bible one son fought to call his shares separated from his father the other son was very loyal and he was always obeying and he was maintaining his decorum few years past the prodigal son lost everything and he became bankrupt and he is coming back repenting his actions to his father when the news comes to the father he calls his assistant and says get the best sheep and start making fish for my son who is coming the good son questions the dad you never bothered to thank me or look after me and that fellow ran off and you are welcoming him so the father says in in a manda en solvanga ya and the herd of sheep if all the sheep are healthy that fellow will say drr and all the sheep will run if there is an handicapped sheep the good shepherd carries it in his hands so god always bothers about the prodigal children who are able to understand his love for them 
that's all. If you understand this, you will understand God and how the reward and punishments are changed also and you get the mercy of the Supreme. Manam Injal Yenna in Rakil Vikur, Ramana Maharishi, Manam Yen Badu, Uru Weir in Totra Velipadi Indru, Badil Soli Rikirar, Uru Manidan in Weir Otam, Epadio, Adupola, Manamum Avan Urakatil Koda, Yengi Kundadane Rikiradu, Ade Vedail, in the Bulagamum, Uru Manidan in Vidipunilayum, Urakan Ilayum, Yengi Kundirakum Bodu, Manidan in Manadirkur, Avan Uriya Urakan Ilayil, in the Bulagate Patrio, Laugi ka sugangalai patriyo, yenda vidha sinda na yum varva dilhe, adi yavva aru maraka dikka padigarade. Orakka neelele varva dilhe nu mulgi arso nanga. Unga subconscious mind la, you have five stages. One is this. This is called jagrat. You are awake. You are very conscious. This is called uh, the prana maya kosam. Then when, even when you are sleeping, you are breathing. So that's called prana maya kosam. Uh, the, the thing which uh, is working, active, even when you are sleeping with the breath. Third thing is manam. So when you are sleeping, you get dreams that you are sinking into water or you are missing a train and you are you are lost someone who is no more, you cry for him and you also get married in dreams. You also have sex in dreams <laughs> because that is functioning. That manomaya kosam, kosam means body, even in, in your dream state or sleeping state, manomaya kosam is functioning. So whatever karmas you have to undergo in the physical body, you are undergoing in the third layer of subconscious mind. Uh, there again you are having karmas only, that's why you are happy and sad during your dream experiences. So don't underestimate Guru. Bhagavan, Tanay Nambum Bakhtar Galaku, Soda Negalai Tarvadi Yen, and the Soda Negalai Tangi, Anubavitu, and the Adi Evan Tanad the Karma Vik Karika Vindam in Badar Kagava, Aladu, Avana the Bakti in Ardati Soditu Parkava. You have, I don't wear a gold thing. Eh? You wear rings, you wear gold chains, and all that. So for you to wear that uh, golden ring, first gold has to be put into the oven. Uh, it has to undergo that heat treatment and other things. Then it is made into a die and a ring or a chain or necklace or something. So God wants to wear you because you are gold. Uh, God loves you. <laughs> you are gold. So he is giving you all this taste and turmoil so that you will become an ornament for him to wear you. Very simple. So never question the right of God to give you experiences, sometimes better, sometimes bitter. All are good. Mahindra Giri Malayil, Tangalaka Kedita Palvera Anmiga Anubangalil, Tangalaka Migavum Piditamana Anmiga Anubavum Patri Vivarikum. You mean in Kailash or in Mahindra Giri? Mahindragiri, I was lying, meditating on a rock. I could see all the celestials who are superior in spirit on my head side, who are uh, equal to me on both sides, who are inferior to me in spirit on my leg side. So when I opened up, they all like a slow motion movie uh, went away. This is the best experience. I got in Mahindragiri. The same thing happened to me at Mount Kailash. In Mount Kailash, at a place called Darshan, I was meditating early morning around 4 o'clock or so. I could see all the celestials descending down from the sky with their celestial splendor, dress, costumes, and other vehicles, like Indra, the lord of the celestials on his elephant. Like that I saw. They are 33 crores of celestials. I saw them all descending down and the place where I was meditating, they all came and stood opposite to me. I was surprised to see this. Then all of them bowed to me like this. I said, I have to worship you. Why are you worshipping me? Now, whatever happened, I am 
telling you. I said, I have to worship you. Why are you worshiping me? Again, they all bowed and said, Aap Sachat Badri Narayan Bhagavan Ho. They said, You are Lord Badri Narayana. That's why we are all worshiping you. These are two unforgettable experiences. I have more and more experiences with so many great people whom I met. A oh, lot of great people I met. And uh, in that one person is Abdul Rahman Shishti. I think she was there. Come. She is Meera. She is a doctor at Germany. She was a witness to my meeting with Abdul Rahman Shishti. Mike. Volume, volume. Uh. Shankaram, Sri Shankaram. Uh, we were living in Bangladesh with, uh, and Baba came to visit us. And he had already heard before uh, India and the Varamode about Shishti, Lord Shishti, um, St. Shishti has already heard. So he asked the dad to, let's go and find him. So then we found out through some colleagues that this is where the saint is. And uh, when, when we went up the stairs and Baba stepped into the room, The change she said, Allah has come. She has a habit of crying. Don't, don't buzz. She helped you only. <laughs> Allah has come. And he had invited Baba and every one of us. And he put buckets of rose petals on Baba's head and gave him food. And we had a prayer session. And uh, yes, it was a good experience because this is an unknown person. And as soon as he saw Baba, he said, Allah has come. Shankar Shankar. See, I had been to Bangladesh when our dad was the Exxon Mobil's country manager there. I told him, in Asia week, I read about a saint, Abdul Rahman Sishti, who is from the Khandan of Ajmer Darga, Shah and Shah. And Ajmer Darga, Shah and Shah, was, has blessed Mughal King Akbar with a child. So that Fatehpur Sikri was donated to that saint by Akbar. Fatehpur Sikri is the donation given to that saint. So in Ajmer Darga, his tomb is there. And in that uh, heredition, there was one person called Abdul Rahman Sishti. He was at uh, Bangladesh, Chittagang. And I read in Asia Week that he met uh, Bhutto once, um, Pakistan's ex-president uh, Bhutto, and said, you are going to be hanged. So which man will be happy to hear that he's going to be hanged? So he said, get out. This saint said, Sishti said, you, you may ask me to get out, but definitely you are going to be hanged. So later on, when Bhutto was hanged by the next to president, Yahya Khan or Tikka Khan, he called his daughter Benazir Bhutto and said, there is one great saint in Chittagang, who predicted exactly that I am going to be hanged like this. So you don't miss him. You go to him and take his advice. So she went all the way to Chittagang and met that holy man. And that Abdul Rahman Sishti told, you are going to become the prime minister of your country. She laughed and said, there is a dictator, military rule in my country. And you are talking of me becoming a prime minister. It is impossible. He said, no, in your flight, one mango basket will roll and that man will be killed with that mango basket bomb and you are going to be the Prime Minister after the elections. Same thing happened. So to thank him, she went with all her assistants in four flights and uh, met him. This is the background of that news. So I had been to Dhaka. And I told Guna, Guna, before 10 years, I read in Asia Week an incident like this. Just see whether that man is still alive. Because who knows in 10 years he has passed or not. They phoned, found out that my luck, he was in uh, Dhaka at that time. So I saved traveling to 700 kilometers. He was in Dhaka. So I told Guna, one man has come from India, he wants to take your uh, blessings. This is what Guna was supposed to tell. He said, okay. So me, Guna, his wife, 
and uh, Meera, her sister, her brother, and uh, 30 Bengali boys who were all working in um, Exxon Mobil at that time. All of us went to meet this holy man. The moment he has seen me, he said, Allah has come to bless me. The first sentence he said, Allah has come to bless me. In Islam religion, all are only prophets. Even Muhammad is a prophet. No one is Allah. Whereas that great a person called me Allah, whether you want to believe or not. <laughs> then he started crying, caught hold of my hand, took me to the divan. We call it as Gaddi, white uh, spread. He made me sit on that. And uh, he started kneeling with his, and started doing namas. The prayer which they do to Allah, he started doing before me. And he took one full basket of rose petals and did Abhishekam to me, put on my head. Then he called all his people and said, fall at his feet. In Islam religion, no one falls at anyone's feet. He said, I will fall, you all fall. So he fell and he asked all his assistants, Muslim um, people, to fall. Then he started saying, what he said, you want to know? This is what he said. Allah has come to see me. Sri Shankar Baba is Allah. He has come to see me. He has the face of God. Allah and Him are the one and the same. So both are same. God Himself has come to see me. For I am small and I seek His advice and blessings. He says He is small and I am God and I have uh, gone to Him because He sought my advice. He is the great, great and greatest of all gods of the world. Can you believe this? Repeat. <laughs> He is great, great and the greatest of all gods of the world. All gods of the world is the greatest. You want to believe or not, it's your fate. But it's what he exactly said. Okay. He has the power to give life to the dead. He can even revive the dead. All the angels in heaven come to him and seek his blessings. He is the greatest elephant of elephants. Greatest elephant of elephants is what? Ganesha. Lord Ganesha. So he says, Sri Shankar Baba's spirit is that of Ganesha, the obstacle remover. He has the full power of Shiva, Parvati, Lakshmi and all the gods put together. So he has the power of all gods. When he looks at you, God is seeing you and your sins will henceforth be removed. If Baba looks at someone, his sins are forgiven. When he touches you, God is touching you and all your karmas are dissolved and obstacles removed. Whatever he asks, God's will readily given to you. If he wants, even this building will turn into gold. He is the lion who has the power within him given by none other than the gods themselves to unite the world. What is lion? Lion God, Narsimha. He can bring out the lion from his heart to tame the world. What is good in all religions, God has taught him even before he met his Guru. His face is as beautiful as that of the face of God. The sun God himself is at his feet and so are the moon and stars. Sun, moon, stars are all at his feet. He is the embodiment of the purest love and it flows endlessly and readily to one and all. He has, the, he has undergone tremendous sacrifice to reach this level. He is the master of management and operates with the system which was taught by God. He has no wants for all his wants have been granted already by God. That's all. So you, you know I have no wants. I said, no, I have no wants. What is that I want? I don't want anything. So this is where Sri Shankar Baba is there. And this is exactly what Abdul Rahman Sishti of Ajmer Darga said. This is something you should remember. Because soon there is a time coming on this earth. Soon, very soon, a time is coming on this earth when there will be wars, there will be natural calamities. The whole world is going to change its face. And that will be my hour. I am just waiting. That will be my hour. Um, believe me or not, I am. I have come to rule the world. I am like, sitting like this. I am gossiping, <laughs> sitting in a car. But I have come to rule the world. The whole world has to come to me. But the changes are going to come after 
uh, all, all these negative things, after negative things, war, natural calamities, diseases, after all that this is going to happen. Just wait and see. So that will be your proud moment. All these children, they don't understand anything about me, other than that they know Baba is a good man, that's all. But that will be their proud hour. Uh, they will be really proud at that time. I went to Mount Kailash. There I met that Abdul Rahman Sishti, the, the other Sishti, who was the guru to Akbar, uh, I, I uh, was asked at Kailash to go to Ajmer Darga. So after Kailash Shatra with China, I had been to Ajmer, I was praying. Then that man, that holy man, who was the guide to Akbar, the emperor, appeared and told, the people who believe me will come to you, People will believe that man, Islam, will come to you and I give you the power to bless them also, on my behalf. So after that, lot of Muslims started coming to me. After this experience happened, lot of Muslim fellows used to come to me. So there was one man, uh, Chintamani Karnataka, his name was Sanaula, Sanaula Bhai. So the Samit Bhai on Gujarati who is running a hardware distribution thing brought him to me because that uh, Sanamullah Bhai's wife was possessed with some negative spirit. They went to all Muslim dargas, they could not heal her. So Amit Bhai brought that Muslim man from Karnataka Chintamani to me and I gave him 15 agarbatis, Udvati. Said light one agarbati a day for 15 days then tell me what happens. After 15 days he came to me. He said, Sir, with one Nagarbati my wife was healed. <laughs> Only one Nagarbati my wife was healed. But still I followed your instruction for 15 days. Then I took her to my Muslim gurus. And they all said the evil spirit has left her. And uh, they confirmed. So I will come to thank you. And as a thanksgiving, he was dealing in PVC pipes. I am going to name one PVC pipe which I am manufacturing as Shankara, after your name. So still in the market, if you see a pipe called Shankara, it's my name. And it was by a Muslim guy. <laughs> by a Muslim guy. So just wait. Great things are in store for you. Just wait. Question from Gauri Shankar, Mailapur. Swami, you have said in many speeches that electrical and electronic gadgets have no role to play in Satya Yuga. There will be no electricity. Then how will people live and lead a life if no electricity is there, nobody can live in their homes? We'll they will all become spiritual. They will all become saints. This is how the whole world, whole world was. In Satya Yuga, the age of truth, there was no electricity, not all your stupid, unwanted, unproductive gadgets, nothing was there. They are all disturbing you to reach God. You are wasting your time and all this nonsense. Cell phone is the greatest nuisance. Now, all the time you are doing ding, 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 ding. What do you gain by all these things? You, know, you are not dying to perform every minute in your thing. All are wasting that time. So Satya Yuga means, People will be very seriously contemplating on divine energy within themselves. Before that, as I said, a lot of things have to go rot. There was one lady called Hilda Charlton. Hilda Charlton. So that lady was at Sri Lanka. And she had initiation into spiritual thing by a great saint at Sri Lanka. And she got some powers. So she went back to America, in New York there is a Ganesha temple and every full moon she will take a fire pot in her hand and Murgan will enter, Lord Skanda will enter through her and she will talk uh, on behalf of Murga. So in one such, she has spoken lot of Pornamis, full moon and it has been made into a book called Skanda. In that book, Murugan has said this, in 1984, we have sent a Holy Spirit to guide you. So I was 
initiated into the spiritual path on 84 23 january skanda the western year 1984 is about to begin it is a crucial year a harbinger of the darkness that is about to take place on earth yet on the horizon where your vision must remain is the light to lead you on you must never falter in the years that ensue you must be stalwart soldiers of truth never wavering in thought or deed but keeping final victory in view i have inspired and taught you in the past to be warriors who will not be degraded and will remain true to the light within the enemy of self will attempt to take you on the downward trail you shall not be tempted you shall be victorious i march before you with veil and banner held high to blaze the path with the name of skanda on your lips and in your hearts you shall march victoriously through the fallen foe the battle wages within you the enemy is your own justification which weakens you and can make you falter the march is long the battle fierce it is the battle against your own weakness no great problem no problem adutha da great changes are coming on your plane called earth the earth itself is being raised in vibration and therefore will have to shift its position before long the kali yuga age will recede and the age of satya truth will dawn the preparatory changes will be immense and awesome the mind must be kept firm the emotions calm wisdom and understanding must be your weapons to come through unscathed you must prepare yourself by raising your vehicle the body to a higher vibration as i help you accelerate and activate your atomic structure in preparation for the dawning of the new age of god you are not on earth by chance at this difficult and perilous time but have taken incarnation to be my helper to help usher in the age of truth you must remain firm and stalwart my soldier nay my general to help guide those who might flounder not knowing what is happening around them you must keep your mind stayed on me and on the light god as jyoti and not under any circumstances let your mind fall into dark crevices away from truth know for what you took form and keep your mind firm do not let it wander into the labyrinth of world conditions that which you will see around is but the pangs of mother earth giving birth to the new age of truth mankind has fallen so low that we of the celestial abode will no longer tolerate man's darkness and waywardness great numbers will have to leave the earth unless they change their ways you my faithful ones must keep your hearts full of love and faith stayed on the highest during the time soon to come on earth prepare yourself to breathing meditation and control of mind through concentration eat clean food and take care of your body let not trouble trouble you march forward shoulders back fist firm in faith and know i am by your side after being hidden for thousands of years the awareness of jyoti was brought to earth at this time because the age of truth and light is already beginning to dawn on the horizon for those who can understand and whose whose souls are awakened the changes will occur or for the sake of those who through the ages have kept faithful to the highest truth now is the time the vibration from the heavenly abode must come to earth and save it from destruction prove yourself worthy in the midst of opposition now is your time to trust your highest self and bring it forth you will feel changes in your body and mind as acceleration of your atoms takes place a quickening fear not it is all in the great plan trust i skanda son of shiva have spoken my blessings are ever with you so this is 1984 in 1984 only i got this uh, enlightenment the spiritual realization now what is happening and what is going to happen is you see a war now is it not between um, um, israel and uh, the other muslim countries on one side 
Russia and uh, uh, yeah, and any time Korea will create another war. China is going to create a war against Taiwan, and any Chinese warships are everywhere. China has befriended lot of countries, including Maldives and countries surrounding India. And what you see now everywhere in the world, like natural changes, disorders, is the poles are all melting, and there are uh, like um, diseases, corona type, you know, which came again. Something is going to come, and uh, the political imbalances. Saudi Arabia has cancelled uh, the pact with America to deal in dollars. Already, mo some of the countries are not dealing in dollars. Uh, if the world changes to some other currency or gold, America's real uh, weakness on economy is going to be out. In the way, you know, war, natural uh, problems are going to happen. And uh, at the end, after six years, this turmoil will be for six years. At the end of these six years, the world will have a new face. Russia is going to take to our Vedic living, and they are going to follow the Vedic living. I am not talking of Hindu, Christian, Muslim. Vedic style of living, Russia is going to follow. And as I said, all the other countries are going to be affected. Other than the present Pope, there will be only one more Pope. And after that, everything changes into one way of worship. Not so many religions and other things. So if you say all these things, people will not believe. So. These things should happen and will happen. And at that time, people will be more spiritual. Now, no one is spiritual. People are all wavery, they are enjoying life, forgetting God, and they don't even have moral values and ethics. All this is going to change, and great values will come. Before that, the world population today is roughly 500 crores, is it not? All this will be reduced to one-fifth the world population will be hardly within 100 crores. So wait and see. The you want to know, you want to know uh, how, why, why I am all saying, you know Nostradamus. Whatever Nostradamus has predicted is happening. So read his predictions. So long expected shall never come into Europe. In the prophet to save the world will not come from Europe. In Asia shall appear. He will be from Asia. One issued of the line of great Hermes. He will be from Siddhaloga, the world of hermits. And shall be over all the kings of the Orient. He will be greater than all the saints who came in the Orient, like Buddha, uh, all are great people, you know. He will be more powerful than uh, all of them. The last but one of the surname of the prophet shall take Diana as his day of rest. That is Shiva. Okay. He shall wander far by reason of his raving head. What is raving head? When you go into higher levels of meditation, your head will be doing like this. So, th that prophet would have gone to forest, did lot of penance, and he will have a raving head with meditative techniques. Deliver great people from impositions. From the aquatic triplicity shall be born. Where he will be born? Aquatic triplicity. What is aquatic triplicity? Hindu Maga Samudram, Arabian Ocean and Bay of Bengal. Three oceans. From South India he will come. One who shall make Thursday as his holy day. His power will be that of Jupiter. His fame, praise, rule and power shall grow by land and sea to become a tempest to the east. Just wait, it's going to happen soon. The present time together with the past shall be judged by a great jovialist. So you, you know that person who is going to be is a very jovial fellow, not a serious uh, fellow, jovial fellow. The great king will descend from the sky to the rule the world. This messiah will bring peace on the earth in the year 2002. He will it started from 2002 because I installed this temple on 2002. It started from 2002. He will bestow benign enlightenment to the people of the world. He will unite the faiths, religions and races into one. 
I said, no, no more religions fight, no more clashes. All will become one value-based living. He will strike out old, like old traditional rock-like dogmas with his spiritual teachings. He will preach a unique historical phenomenon in the lines of a new age movement or human potential wherein every individual strives to awaken his latent spiritual potential to realize the higher consciousness which is well within himself. So I don't believe in all these temple, churches, mosques, uh, Buddha Vihars and all. I believe in body temple concept. Your body is the temple of God and there is a Holy Spirit which is a fragment of the God uh, which is guiding you from within. The coming millennium is the culmination of a 7000 year cycle. At this time a Maitreya meaning friend will appear to restore the momentum and power to all those seeking religious truth. The sculptor looking for new... What is Maitreya? A friend of the universe. This is the language of Buddha. Buddha says Maitreya. And there is also a Buddha called Maitreya Buddha. Means a friend of the universe. The sculptor looking for new clay, he and his followers will be soaked in gold. What is the meaning? They will all be filled with the energy of Jupiter and Jupiter is a lot of gold. He will mold them as a sculptor molds clay into divine forms. There will be a shift in humanity's consciousness to such an extent that even atheists would call upon gods and saints. This new religion shall spread the world over. It teaches a new acceptance of life, a kind of magic used as a launch pad to an experience of the divine. This suggests a concept of complete surrender to belief. The millennium will bring blissful tranquility and peace and wisdom. An equilibrium between the opposites of science and religion will be reached. Nostradamus dates the rebirth of spirituality and a new religion at around 1984. This religious consciousness will gather momentum and reach its peak by the year 2012. The humanity's travail will finally end in the year 2016. The person who brings this massive change will appear in Asia. He will be born around the year 1950. He will take the moon's day, that is Monday, as his day of silent rest. He will have a name related to the moon. Shiva, his name will be related to Shiva. Years filled with ornate speeches. He will point out the fallacies of the traditional practices of the religions and will preach the hidden treasure of wisdom of all religions in an easily understandable manner. The soft voice of the sacred friend is heard under holy ground. The human flame shines for the divine voice. People would wait to hear his golden words of truth. He will preach the new religion and do away with the old judgmental faiths. A complete surrender to faith will ensure spiritual enlightenment in this new religion. His preaching would be to abandon both the past and our obsession with the future, but to focus all our intelligence and energy on now. En en this like one thing. And uh, people are saying Jesus is coming again. Second, Jesus himself has said he is not going to come. You want to know where Jesus has said? But when the Father sends the Comforter, instead so of... What is Comforter? A fellow who hears your problems and comforts you. Is called the comforter. Instead of me and by the comforter. So Jesus says God will send a comforter instead of Jesus, instead of me, means Jesus. And by the comforter, I mean the Holy Spirit. He will teach you much as well as remind you of everything I myself have told you. But I will send you the comforter, the Holy Spirit, the source of all truth. He will come to you from the Father and will tell you all about me because you have been with me from the beginning. He shall praise me and bring me great honor by showing you my glory. But the fact of the matter is that 
it is best for you that i go away for if i don't the comforter won't come so jesus say that he has to leave then only the comforter will come if i do he will for i will send him to you there is deliverance from judgment because the prince of this world has already been judged when the holy spirit who is truth comes he shall guide you into all truth for he will be presenting his own ideas but will be passing on to you what he has heard he will tell you about the future for many will come claiming my name and saying i am messiah i am the messiah and many will be misled by them there i tell you the kingdom of god will be taken away from you and give given to a nation that yields proper fruit what jesus told the kingdom of god will be taken away from rome israel and other countries and will be given to a new country which will bear better fruits that's all okay wow. so last question for the day the attitude to work hard the attitude to be perfect and the attitude to be efficient இந்த மூன்று குணங்களையும் நீ வளர்த்து கொண்டால் நீ உலகத்தினுடைய வரலாற்று பக்கங்களில் இடம்பெறும் அளவுக்கு உன்னை ஒரு சாதனையாளனாக உயர்த்தி கொள்ள முடியும் என்று தங்களுடைய அருளுரை ஒன்று தெரிவித்திருக்கிறீர்கள் தாங்கள் சொல்லும் இந்த குணாதிசயங்கள் இருக்கும் எல்லா மனிதர்களாலும் இந்த கலியுகத்தில் ஒரு சாதனையாளனாக வர முடியவில்லையே ஏன் இப்படிப்பட்ட மனிதர்கள் தொடர்ந்து தோல்விகளை சந்திக்க வைக்கும் ஃபேக்டர் எது என்பதை தாங்கள் தெளிவுபடுத்துமாறு கேட்டுக்கொள்கிறோம் in sanskrit there is a word yatnam prayatnam daivayatnam yatnam means effort prayatnam means again and again effort perseverance then comes divine grace that's called daivayatnam so lot of people are today lazy they don't want to work hard they don't want to even take 2 hours extra in their normal schedule uh, to achieve something so most of the time they eat booze have uh, like uh, animal sex and uh, sleep and die so in this world uh, rarely a small fragmentation of the society are seriously taking god very seriously and even in that people those people who take to god are fighting against the will of god all these islamic countries uh, they massacre sunni muslim fighting against shia muslim is it not catholics fighting against prostitute and uh, bendakos in hindu religion also people fighting sai vaish and vaishnavas so none of them are ever following the love which god wanted them to practice all religions all religions are like this so unless you change yourself yatnam prayatnam the divine grace the third part 50% deva yatnam will not come so you have to change people have to change and uh, you will change only when you want to change <laughs> change is the law of life unless you want to change suppose you are really sleeping i can do like this and you will get up if you are acting like sleeping the moment i do like this you will do <sighs> so people are acting like sleeping uh, so at present the awakening is not uh, going to come it's unlikely to come they have to suffer only when they suffer and look to the skies for help such good things will happen that's why all these problems are happening all these problems are happening and as i again i have to tell you the time is nearing don't worry in the next 6 years all this have to happen the changes will all start uh, in another 1 to 2 months all this slow so already it's happening the wars and other things diseases everything is happening in natural calamities are happening uh, you know uh, japan had the worst of natural calamity uh, uh, on january things are happening you see uh, volcanoes erupting and uh, the roads to badri kedar and all are getting blocked so many things are happening okay follow all this news okay oh? you can sing ஓம் ஜெய் சிவ சங்கரே சுவாமி ஜகத் பரிபாலகரே 
आदि शंकर अवतारा अनाद रक्ष करे ओम जय शिव शंकर रे अन्नयु तंदयु नीलेन्द्ररिंदु अनबिल ननेगिन्द्रो स्वामी अनबिल ननेगिन्द्रो आसानुम मेरे आगे अदेवा निन्नडी पड़ी गिन्द्रो ओम जय शिव शंकर रे कैलये पन्नुरे वालंबंदाय वो करुणागर कीर्ति स्वामी करुणागर कीर्ति महिलाय लिंद्र वरम तरुगिंद्राय मंगलगर मूर्ति ओम जय शिव शंकर रे शंकरा शिव शंकरा शिव शंकर हर हर वो जनार्दना ही जनार्दना जनार्दना हरि वो शंकरा शिव शंकरा शंकर हर हर वो कैलाय मलयिल वासम सेवान शंकर हर हर वो येरु मलयिले येरुंद तिरीवान जनार्दना हरि वो Vilva Malayai Virumbi Aniva Shankar Haraharavu Om Thulasi Thalatthai Soodi Magilvaan Janardana Harivu Om Malai Magal Manand Mahadevani Shankar Haraharavu Om Halai Magal Petra Anbu Kanavani Janardana Harivu Om Vama Baga Thil Devi Yevaitha शंकर हर हर वो वनी दये ही दये कोविल वही तांजना दना हरि वो काल यल येरी नगर वलंबर वान शंकर हर हर वो गरुड़न मीद परंद तिरी वान जना दना हरि वो शाम बले पुसी शांति यदाई वान शंकर हर हर वो संधन कुंगुम परिमलम कुलवान जना दना हरि वो सूलम मरुवाई या युद्धम कुंडन शंकर हर हर वो संग चक्करम यींदीर पांच जना दना हरि वो नेत्रील नेत्रल कोड़गले डबन शंकर हर हर वो नींदनामम मणिवजल पीरियन जना दना हरि वो आने काविल नीरुल नीरपान शंकर हर हर वो हरंगम धनीली उरंगी किड़ा पांच जना दना हरि वो कुरे वंद्रु मिले मरे मूर्ति कन्ना कुरे वंद्रु मिले कन्ना कुरे वंद्रु मिले गोवि 